Greetings everybody and welcome to Let's Play Skyrim Special Edition Modded, The Mage's Ascent, episode number 36. So, in the last episode we did a couple of uh, odds and ends around uh, Dawnstar. We finished off the uh, Vermina, we finished off the Vermina's Torpor thingy up here in Nightcaller Temple. Uh, finally managed to get that bit done, uh, so we went up here got that one done, managed to destroy the skull, so uh, we saved Dawnstar essentially, which was awesome, and we came back down to Riften, and we've uh, just been trying to deliver out some more of these pamphlets to people, so let's see if we can, interesting to tell me? let's go and see if we can Good to see you. give Finally, these things out, I mean, I, you can't even give them away, hello? You have questions. Uh, let's have a look, uh, so, uh, no, I guess not from All you, right, then. can we give these things away, hello? Sure, sure, I'm a dirty beggar. Why would you want to even speak to me? Mm, how about your piece? Oh, thank you. Divines bless your kind heart. Until next time. You're welcome. Uh, how about you? Did you get that purchase no, that's agreement not you. tomorrow? I talked to you already. Uh, hey, to my husband Bercy will be the death of me. Oh, he spends too much time worrying about Riften and not enough about himself. Yes, yeah, sister. Blessings of Mara upon you. Oh, how kind. Thank you. Be careful. There we go. There's another one. Riften how about you? Dangerous. My food is the best in all of Skyrim. Always as fresh as the day it was collected. How do you keep the food so fresh? I picked up a trick from a butcher in Elanir, a small town over the border in Hammerfell. He showed me a way to grind up ice wraith teeth and use it as a preservative. Keeps everything cold and fresh, but only for a limited time. Ah. I'm always looking to replenish my supply. So if you ever come across five of them, I'd be more than happy to take them off your hands. Sounds good. I'll find some. Thanks. I was actually worried I'd run out. All right. Uh, any idea where I can find some ice wraiths? Well, I'd be careful if I were you. I hear the Nords hunt them for some kind of initiation rite. Not all of them end up victorious. The last traveler that traded me some said he found them at a place called Ancient's Ascent. Careful, though. Rumor has it a dragon makes its home there. Ooh, sounds good. Um, so I guess uh, I guess Ancient's Ascent. Okay, I don't know what that is, but... Be careful looking for those teeth. Those little bastards are dangerous. Alrighty, we'll be careful. I'm sure we'll be, able to, I'm sure we'll be fine, though. Hmm, how about this guy? Come to see Balaman perform miracles with steel, eh? Yeah, brother. Uh, blessings of Mara upon you. Thank you for the blessing. I'll put this to good use. There it goes. There's another one given away. So, 5 out of 20. Um, what else can he... Uh, so, I imagine current events are keeping you busy. People say I'm making gold off of other people's misery. But what else would I do? Smithing is all I know. Next time one of my shields deflects a killing blow, they'll change their tune. This is true. Uh, you seem quite proud of your work. Smithing's been in my blood for generations. I owe my success to my forefathers and their recipe for flame. The secret is my forge. It consumes fire salts, a strange mineral that burns as hot as red mountain lava. Hmm, impressive. Well, it was. Sadly, this forge is dying, and I've used the last of my fire salts. If I can't feed it soon, it may grow cold. Hmm, well, I can get some here. You will? Thank you. Ten pinches of fire salt should give me all I need to bring this forge back to life. Sounds good. Um, so where can I find fire salts anyway? A flame atronach's body might provide fire salt. They're dangerous creatures that can be summoned by wizards. Of course, it would be much easier to check with an alchemist. They occasionally have them for sale. All right. Remember, nothing but genuine fire salts will do. The forge knows the difference. All right. How about this guy? Working at the Rift in Fishery is tough, but it puts some coin in my pocket. Well, have some blessings of Mara. Oh, interesting. I'll read it this evening. Remain vigilant and don't trust go. anyone. Okay, so can we go? That's the Black Bar Meadery. Maybe we can talk to some people in here as well. I just want to go and see if we can, you know, talk to some people, see what we can do. How about you? I'm the brewmaster around here. What did you want? I wanted to give you some blessings of Mara. What's this nonsense? Bah! Yeah. Guess he doesn't want it. Oh well, he he t he took it anyway. Um, so okay. Good. Now maybe I can get back to work. How about you? You look like you could use a drink. What do you say to some cheap mead? You're saying cheap mead? No, no, friend. You've got it all wrong. I'm not selling cheap mead. I'm selling good mead for cheap. Black Briar mead. 
I'll sell cases of it for half of what the inns and taverns paid for the meadery. All I need is someone to deliver it for me. If anyone saw me leave Riften, they get suspicious. So, what kind of delivery? I need someone to take this small keg of Blackbriar mead to Wilhelm at the Villamer Inn in Iverstead. Drop it off, and he'll trade you something for the delivery. Keep it as payment for the legwork. Oh, and if you bump into Indarin from the meadery, keep your mouth shut. He'd ride us out in a second. Alrighty, I'll do it. Good. Now get going. Cool. And have some blessings Amara. I don't have time for this nonsense. Oh well, takes it anyway. So, there you go. Remember, keep this to yourself. And how about you? Hey, don't look at me that way. Who are you to judge me? I'm not. I just wanted to give you some blessings of Mara. Mara only helps those who can afford her tithes. This is nonsense. All right, oh well. Then. We're still going to spread it anyway. <laughs> Take it anyway. Why not? Right, anyone else in here that I can spread it to? Anyone else that I can deliver Mara's warmth to? There's got to be someone in there. Uh, anyone here? Nope. Okay, let's let's just have a look around. I'm sure I'm sure we can find some people. I believe you have a delivery to make. I believe I do. So what if I have a problem? I know how to deal with it. Hello. Sorry, I'm afraid I can't help you much right now. I'm currently in mourning. May I ask why you're in mourning? It was my sister, Lilia. She served as a battle maiden with the storm cloaks. We recently heard she'd been killed. I... I find it difficult to talk about. Perhaps you'd be better off speaking to my parents about it. Anyway, I'm glad my work at the Blackbriar Meadery keeps me busy. Helps me keep my mind off of things. Well, um... In that case, blessings some more upon you. Not really my usual read, but I'll give it a try. Good, good. And uh, tell me about your parents. My father was a Stormcloak soldier in his younger days. Now he just walks the streets spewing his hatred and propaganda. My mother is the priestess of Talos. She tends to the shrine and teaches his ways. I'm just not so sure she's delivering the right message. Hmm, so are you at odds with them? Don't mistake my political beliefs as a substitute for my family values. They're still my parents, and I love them dearly. I just think they've let my sister's death skew their outlook on Ulfric and what he really brings to the table with this war. I'm not so certain that Ulfric's intentions are as noble as they think. I think Ulfric cares about Ulfric, and the rest is a smokescreen. I'd appreciate if you kept my opinion between us. The last thing I want to do is have my parents lose another child. Alrighty then. So you're involved with the meteorite then? Yes, actually. I'm partnered with Maven Blackbriar. I put up a chunk of the gold she needed to get the place off the ground. We've been staggeringly successful so far. In fact, I'm almost surprised how quickly she's generated business for us. My name may not be on the label, but some of my blood, sweat, and tears are in every drop. Uh, figuratively, of course. Hmm. Interesting. It's been good talking to you. All right, so can we find anyone else to give these things to? I'm just being annoying now. I'm just like, blessings of our up on you and you. <laughs> you get a pamphlet. You get a pamphlet. I, I talked to you already. All right, so this goes back out to Skyrim. Um, did I give you one? I'm the brewmaster around here. What did you want? Yeah, I, talk I talked to him already. Um, so can we go down even further? Because there's more areas down there in the meadery. I just want to have a little explore around this place. It's, you know, one of these buildings I very rarely come into. Uh, but it looks like there's not really much out there. So let's head out to Skyrim here. So you can actually get out to Skyrim here, that's pretty cool. So what's out this way? And let's have a look. I don't know if we can give... Ah, this is the docks, isn't it? I don't know if we can give any... Uh, I don't know if we can give any of the Mara's blessings to anyone here. Hello. Yes. Um, no, she's fine. Until next time. So she doesn't want blessings of Mara, which is understandable, I suppose. Um, let's have a look around here. How about this dude? Hello. I'm through with you. Get out of my way. Alrighty. Silly bugger. Just gonna have a little look down here. So that just leads into the water, so nothing really much nothing really much there. What have we got in here? That's the Rifton Warehouse. Requires a key to get in there, so we can't go in there. I won't go back to I won't. Okay. Hello! You you must take the lexicon. 
free me of my burden. The Mexican burden? What are you talking about? The memories. I cannot stand them. You must take them away, return them to a Munchenzel. You must take the lexicon from me. Please, take it now. Uh... Uh, it's okay, it's okay, I'll, I'll take the lexicon. You must bring it to a Munchenzel in the West. Return it to them. It must go back. Alrighty. Can it's I talk to you? It's yours now. I won't take it back. I won't. Okay, so she doesn't want to take it back. And we spoke to you already, didn't we? Yes, we did. Uh, is there anyone else out here by the boats? Or not? Let me have a look. Let's just have a little look around here. I could have left it I could have put it back where it came from. Hmm. What have we got over here? So this looks like the uh, okay. This is the fishery here. Uh, let's go in here and uh, let's go and just talk to some people. See if we can uh, spread the warmth of Mara among these fine folk of Riften. Hello. Please help me. I'm going to lose my job at the Riften fishery. Uh, you might lose your job. My job at the Riften fishery is in danger. The owner Bolly said that if I show up for work in this condition one more time, then I'm out. I don't mean to do this to myself, but I can't help it. I tried some skooma a year ago, and ever since then, I can't stop. If you could give me a healing potion, I could cleanse this poison from my body and get back to my life. Sure, Eva. Your kindness will never be forgotten. Here, take this. It's all I can offer you for what you've given me. <laughs> what do we get? A silver amethyst ring. Nice. Well, thanks. That's worth a healing potion. It is our most favorite company. Um. So here, blessings of Mara upon you. I wouldn't even clean my tail with this trash. <laughs> oh well, we tried. Um. That's eleven done. Uh, so where'd you get your skooma? Look, I don't think I should say. I mean, they could kill me. Um. Uh, I think you owe me one. Okay. Okay. I'll tell you. Ha -ha. I'll get my skooma from Sarthas Idrin. He has some sort of a setup over the Riften warehouse. You can't get inside, though. They've kept that place locked up tight since the war began. Hmm, so who has a key to the warehouse? I overheard Boli say that only the Jarl carries the key to the warehouse. When I meet Sarthas there, he's usually waiting for me outside with his bodyguard. Aha, uh -huh. I see. Um, okay, cool. So, what will you do now? If it wasn't for Skuma, I'd already be on my way out of this horrible city. All my gold. Completely gone. Now I have to start over. I'll never use Skuma again. Although I suppose a little mead now and then would be harmless. Yeah, I'll be fine. Do you like working at the Riften Fishery? Bully is a good man. He pays us well and watches out for us. I used to work at the Blackbriar Meadery. But in Darren and I never saw eye to eye. That elf has no patience at all. It's probably for the best anyway. I'm far better at fishing than working in a meadery. Hmm, sounds cool. You've been kind. I thank you. You're welcome. Right, so is there anyone else in here? Uh, oh, there's a, there's a bit under here. Oh, there we go. We can, uh, we can actually catch the fish from down here. Look at that. So I wonder if we can catch any... What else we can find on here? You know, there's all these fish. We can actually catch salmon. They're just swimming around under here. I'm kind of stealing his salmon. Tee! Hmm. That's quite funny that they're they're just like swimming around in here. <laughs> there we go. So, um, what else can we do here? So we can uh, there's salmon and stuff in here. I don't know if there's any things in these barrels. Maybe we can find like silver side purchase and stuff in here. Maybe. Let's have a look. So we can search the slaughter fish. Uh, oh, you got slaughter fish scales. I'll take those. Uh, what else have they got here? May as well take some ingredients if we can find them, right? That's uh, empty. What have we got in here? Uh, his crap. Uh, salt piles. So I'll take those. Not worried about salmon meat. So that fish barrel's empty. So most of these fish barrels are empty. But you know, you, ne you never know. We might be able to find some perches and stuff. Here we go. So river betties. Spine tails. There we go. So if we if we need those alchemy ingredients, we can just come here. Uh, which is pretty cool. Um, any more around here? Let's go and search these little barrels and stuff. I mean, I may as well have a look, just to see. I mean, it's, it's one place that I rarely come to, so... So that's the guy... That's Bully, right? We talked to him already. Um, 
Okay, I guess I, I guess he doesn't want to be. Uh, I guess he doesn't want to interact with me. I can uh, I can understand why I'm stealing his fish. He's probably writing a, a note to to mercenaries now, just like, yeah, you you got to kill this guy. He's just nicked half my fish. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm not sorry really. It's fine. Okay, so we got a load of quests from Rifter. Let's go and search all these fish barrels just in case we can find any more uh, good stuff in here. Uh, that one's empty. This one, what have we got in here? Uh, another spine tail. I'll take the salt piles and things, because these things could be pretty useful to... There you go. A long fin. We have salt piles and a silver side perch. Because these are things you don't really see that often, so it's good to have sometimes. It is done. I won't go back to right. What have we got in here? There's a sack. What have we got in there? Leather in the sack. What's in here? Uh, broken iron mace handle. So it's lots of different like weapon things. Potatoes and carrots. Okay. Can we talk with this guy? Trees. They're beautiful here. Reminds me of autumn at home. Hey, brother. Blessings of Mara up on you. Seems like a noble cause. I'll look it over. Hooray! Nice. How about this guy? Hello. Sorry, I'm afraid I can't help you much right now. I'm currently in mourning. Oh, okay. That was the guy I spoke to before. Why are you not in the meadery? What are you doing here? What are you doing? He's like in the wrong place. Okay. Spoke to you already. You don't want any blessings of Mara. I just want to get these pamphlets out of my... Uh, I just want to get these pamphlets out of my inventory. And complete that quest. Because that quest has been, like, ages needing to be completed. Like, we've been waiting a long time for that. So, anything down here we can search? Or is it all just stealing? Probably all stealing. Okay, so can't really search anything down there. So... Let's go up this way. It is done. I won't go back. Right, so what's over here? More barrels we can search? Okay, those are stealing from, so we don't want to take from those. We don't want to steal. So that goes to the Blackbriar Media. I did see another door around the corner. There's another door up here, look. Here we go. What's up here? That is, uh, that just opens straight to Riften. Okay, so we can go, like, one or two ways in. Alright, so let's go and see if we can deliver more of these, uh, more of these things. Um, how about you? Having fun in the far-off nope. land of Falska? Working at the Riften Fishery nope. is tough. How about you? Is it oh, absolutely nope. necessary for you to bother it's me right now? It's a fine day with you around. Okay, can't talk to any of those guys. That guy we spoke to. How about you? This one needs something. No, no, I'm good. Okay, you're not offering me anything. Glad to see you finally came to your senses. Ready to make some coin? Mm, no, never mind. You're trying my patience, lad. Yeah, we're, we're not interested in him. Um, how about you? When you were around, Rifton, take my advice. Stay at the B and Bar. The bunkhouse isn't for you. Well, here, have uh, some blessings with Mara. Huh? Oh, sure, whatever. I prefer Debella's teachings myself. Well, that's okay. Um, where can the... Oh, okay, let's see. Are you the only one that works in uh, the bunkhouse? Of course not. You expect me to take care of it by myself? My niece, Vanna, helps me with the chores. She'd be more help if she kept her head out of the clouds. She's been with me ever since her parents were killed by bandits and she was dropped in my lap. Hmm. So... Sounds good. Right, we're all good. I don't know why I bother. Okay. Uh, hello. Hmm. What do you want? Uh, okay, nothing. You're, you're fine. Um, so I wonder... I wonder who else we can spread the, uh, Mara's blessing to. That goes to Blackbriar Manor. So they probably won't want anything to do with it. Hmm. Let's go down here. It's very foggy down here. Let's go and see what's down here. I know there's some more shops down here. That's uh, just uh, a house. That's the rat way. We don't want to go that way. Let's have a look over here. Uh, that's a house. So I know there's uh, a couple of uh, couple of stores down here as well. Uh, that's another house. Lots of houses down here. Uh, nothing there. Where's the Where's the Thaumaturge's place down here? I know it is down here somewhere, but it's so foggy I can't really see. Um, how about this one? There you go. Uh, Beggar's Row. Okay, let's go in here. See what's going on in here. Alrighty. So, hello. Yes. Um, Let's have a look. Uh, no, we don't want to talk to her. Mm -hmm. That's fine. So, what's going on down here? So, it looks like it's uh, looks what are you lo doing that for? looks like it's a place where people just come and hang out who have no home. Oh man! Well, there's no one here, so no one really we can talk to. So let's get back out to Riften. Never really been in this place before. A lot of these places I actually never explored in Skyrim. If you uh, if you believe that. 
Um, ah, here we go. Elgrim's Elixirs, here we go. So we can see we can buy some fire salts and ice race teeth from here. Busy, but if you need any potions or ingredients, let me know. Hello. You're here for lessons like Ingen? Or did you wish to buy something? Uh, well, I wanted to give you some blessings to Mara first. I have no time for Marla or Mara or whatever her name is. There's work to be done. Well, we got rid of one of them anyway. Six more to go, guys. Um, so why is your shop down here in the canal? Well, the moisture in the air is better for the ingredients. It isn't every day that you get your hands on fresh nern root or painted troll frat. It also makes it easier to gather water when the canal is right out the front door. Besides, I also prefer the quiet. I didn't open this business for browsing. Come in, buy what you need, and get out. Hmm. So, do you work alone? Hardly. In fact, I don't know how I get anything done with all the distractions I have to put up with. My wife, half your well, she's a necessary evil, I suppose. Not a lick of talent when it comes to alchemy, but she keeps me fed. <laughs> then there's Ingen Blackbriar. Bright young thing and a worthy apprentice. When she isn't wasting my rare ingredients. Hmm. Well, what have you got for sale? Ah, so you're an alchemist then. He's <laughs> <laughs> not an alchemist. <laughs> Stupid bugger. Uh, what have you got anyway? Let's have a look. So do you have them? We needed fire salts and we needed ice wraith teeth, didn't we? That was the things we needed. So doesn't let you have any kind of uh, fire salts or anything. You you have nothing. You suck. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and um, sell him some of these things anyway, because he's got a little bit of cash on him. So you may as well sell him all these things. Wow, they sell for like nothing. Oh well, we can get rid of these guys. Damage magic and regen. Damage stamina regen. Take all those. The fear ones, and then frenzy. Have all those. Lingering Damage Magica, you can have all those guys, six of them. Because we can get a little bit of money from this guy. We need to make uh, a lot of gold back anyway, so let's go ahead and sell him all these things. Weakness to Fire, you can have all those. A Potion of Enduring Invisibility. Yeah, you know what, I don't really need those. Fortified Barter, Fortified Block, there you go. Fortified Conjuration, get rid of them. Fortify Health, get rid of those. 390 for 363, yes, yeah, so I'll you can have it. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling generous. Uh, what books do you have? Um, invisibility potion. Uh, food. I guess you have um, salt piles. No, not even salt piles. Miscellaneous? What? No, nothing. All right. Yes, yes, goodbye. <laughs> He's like, yeah, yeah, good. Sod off your sleeve, bugger. Um, hello. This place has seen better days, but it's not my fault. You got your hands full, eh? I swear if I wasn't around, Elgrim would forget to eat his meals. How we make any coin at all is beyond me. In fact, I need to arrange for someone to pick up an ore sample for me in Shore Stone. Now, goodness knows Elgrim won't lift a finger to do it. Hmm, well, I can get it for you. You would? Oh, that would be wonderful. Speak to Filnyar in Shore Stone. He's got some sort of ore sample he wants us to identify and was willing to pay us well for it. All right. Um, does it bother you living underground? When Elgrim said we were setting up shop down here, I told him he would catch his death. The dirt, the moisture, is disgusting. Who wants to spend their life living like a skeever? But that old bellyache just fed me some nonsense about light ruining his mixtures and being close to the water. Ah. Hmm. So, yeah, blessings of Mara upon you. Hmm. Never read anything from the temple before. I suppose there wouldn't be any harm in reading it. Huzzah! There we go. So we now have five more to go. Um, are you an alchemist as well? I know how to mix a few basic potions, but I'm nowhere near as skilled as a master alchemist. I've picked up a few tricks by reading the tomes scattered all over the shop. But I don't have the knack to pull off half of the formulas. I wish Elgrim had spent more time tutoring me than that Ingen girl. Are you jealous of her? No, no. I didn't mean it that way. Elgrim can barely put on his own shoes, let alone have the energy to pursue a young girl. <laughs> He's been gushing about how talented Ingen is at alchemy. He'd never say it to her face. That's not his way. 
I just think Elgrim's taken it upon himself to mentor the young thing. So he focuses a lot of attention on her. Oh, I see. That's fair enough. Be careful. The road to Shore's Stone could be dangerous. Alrighty. We'll be careful. Um, is there anyone else in here? Nope. Just those guys. Alright. Let's get out of here. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Alright. So, oh, I hear someone walking around here. Hello? 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 Oh, what do we have down here? We have... That's Beggar's Row, isn't it? Okay, that's pretty much everything down here, then. So we still need five more people to spread this, uh, spread the warmth of Mara to. So, how about, uh, Helga's house? Helga's bunkhouse. Here we go. What have we got in here? Um, so... Probably can't spread it to you. You probably don't care. What's in here? So we've got place down here. Let's just go and have a little look. See if there's any people around. Uh, nope, no one in this room. Okay. Let's have a looky here. Where will we find people? I think I spoke to you, didn't I? Sorry about the mess. Keeping this place clean is quite a chore. Yes, yeah, sister. Blessings of Mara up on you. Thank you. Um, blessings upon you too. Hooray! Do you work here? Work? I suppose you can call it that. I call it slavery. I work my fingers to the bone keeping this disgusting place clean. Ever since my parents died and Helga took me in, it's been a nightmare. How was I to know she was such a wretched woman? So now I'm stuck living here while those pigs she calls customers grope me and say the most awful things. Oh, so why do you hate Helga so much? It's not just the work, it's everything about her. She's disgusting. I think she takes her worship of Debella a bit too seriously. Do you know she slept with three different men in the last month alone? What kind of woman would do such a thing? Just for once, I'd like to see her squirm. To rub her nose in it. Uh, there must be a way, I guess. Actually, there is. But I don't think I could get away with doing it. She'd kill me if she found out. You see, I happen to know, after she makes love, she gives her partner a token of her affection, called a Mark of Debella. If you confront her with three of the Marks, she'd be so embarrassed. Well, I don't know what she'd do. Hmm, well, yeah, I guess I could help. Oh, this is going to be great! You need to get the Marks of Debella from Boli, Hofgrier, and Indarin. Not sure how you're going to do that, but try your best. Then just confront Helga with them, and the rest works itself out. All right. Try and get those marks without violence, please. I don't want to be responsible for their deaths. Or yours. All right. How about you? Working at the Rift and Fishery is tough, but it puts some coin in my pocket. I'm feeling much better now, thanks to you. Hmm. You've well, been I'm kind. Glad. I thank you. So, yeah, we're going to... We're probably going to upset her a little bit. But it might be fun. A little, little bit of pranks now to get good and hurt. So yeah, I'm just pretty much, you know, touting around for quests and things, so we've got a lot of stuff to do in future episodes. So I know, guys, this episode might be a little bit slower um, than what you're used to seeing with, like, loads of little battles and stuff. But, you know, I think it's just nice that every now and then we just, you know, kick back just a little bit. Just enjoy the game a little bit more and just see what there is to see. I think that's awesome. Uh, what have we got here? That's a door. Where is that going? Anywhere? Nah, just some barrels. Nothing really much up there. Okay, so we've delivered lots of these uh, pamphlets, but we've, we've still got a few. Something? No, I can't deliver them to you, can I? So yeah, I mean, if this if this um, if this lady really is putting that other one to like slavery and you know, pretty much allowing men to grope her and things, that doesn't sound very nice. So you know, may, maybe she does need a bit of come up and say hello. If you're ever in the market, I deal in specialty goods for Morrowind at one of the stands. Here, yeah, brother, blessings of Mara upon you. Mara can't help me. No one can. You have an odd name for a dark elf. I may be dark elf by birth, but I was raised Argonian. Oh, well, though. For reasons I'm still trying to discover, I ended up orphaned and taken in by a kindly Argonian family in Black Marsh. I hope one day to find out what happened to me, how I ended up like that. So, do you have any clues about your past? Just one. I know when I was found by my Argonian father, I was wrapped in a blanket bearing the symbol of House Telvani. It was one of the great houses in Morrowind long ago. Whether that means I was one of them or not, I'm uncertain. 
If you come across anything in your travels that might provide me with the answers I'm looking for, I'd be grateful. Sure, I'll keep an eye out. Thank you. All right. Um. Anything you can find would you. be Is a great it absolutely help. Absolutely necessary for you to bother me right now. All right, there we go. So now we've gone ahead and done that one. Right, there, there must be a few more people we can talk to. So let's go in the B and Barb now that it's night time, and hopefully. We can find these guys Come to talk to. We got warm food, warm drinks, and warm How about you? What do you need? Um, let's see. Nope, can't talk to you. Until next time. How about you? Yes. Hello. Nope, you're not interested. Mm -hmm. uh, this guy. Welcome to the Bee and Barb, my lord. If I can interest you in one of our special drinks, let me know. Hey, brother. Blessings of Mara upon you. Interesting. I'll look it over. Thanks. Nice. All right, um, I'll do. If you'll excuse me, I have other things to attend to. Alrighty. Hello. Um, no, we don't need to talk to her. That's what we just, we just talked to you. We talked to you already. How about you? Sorry, I'm afraid I can't no, help you No, we talked to him already now. as well. Currently in mourning. How about talking to you? Did you get that purchase agreement to Markarth yet? Uh, Helena gave you a marker to Bella. Uh, I want it. I have no idea what you're talking about. I'd never sleep with anyone beside my wife. Perhaps they moved on to green. Hand over and no one has to Look, it was one night, okay? I think she slipped something in my drink. I haven't even been back to the bunkhouse since. All right, Just take all right. this damn thing. I never want to see it again. Cool. Remember me. to give at the temple. Yeah, Hello. what do you want? If this um, is about the meadery, we can talk later. Uh, well, let me give you a mark to Bella. I want it. You're crazy. How dare you make such an accusation? Hand over and no one has to know. If word gets around that I betted her, they'll lose all respect for me at the meadery. Take the mark if you want it. It's not worth all this hassle anyway. Ha-ha! <laughs> That's two. Um, one uh, more. That was important. Right. Yes. How about you? I believe you have a delivery to make. Yes, I do. Remember, keep this to yourself. Right, hello. If you've got the coin, you're welcome here. Otherwise, hit the road. Here, sister. Blessings of Mara upon you. Look, the only religion I believe in is the good old septum. Everything else is just a waste. Yeah, well, that's fair enough, I suppose. Okay, um... Let's have a looky here. Come so, back and see us again. Got a couple more to give out. We've given one to that guy. Can't give it to him. He's not interested. Um, talk, talk to you already. Um, how about you? If your allegiance lies with the Empire, we haven't much to discuss. Here, yeah, brother. Blessings of Mara upon you. Mara this and Mara that. Where is she when hundreds of Stormcloaks are dying for no good reason, eh? Okay. Completed, and we've distributed, and we now need to return to Dinya. All right, Support nice. Support Ulfric or die trying. There's nothing in between. All right, so now we just need one, one more. Um, Looking for work? I need someone to deliver a message to Sibby Blackbriar. Uh, what sort of message? Ah, well, I recently approached Sibby Blackbriar about buying Frost, one of the finest breeding horses in Skyrim. He agreed to sell. I paid Sibby half the cost of Frost up front, but before he could deliver, Maven had him locked up. Sibby believes this exempts him from our deal. It does not. I want you to talk to Sibby for me. Then I want you to bring me Frost and the lineage papers that prove the horse's worth. All right. Sounds easy enough. Good man. You won't regret it. Head to the Riften Jail and talk to Sibby. Get him to tell you where Frost and his lineage papers are and bring them to me outside Riften. You'll be well paid for your time. All right. Let's go. I'll meet you outside of town. So, last thing we're going to do then, guys, is we're going to head... Uh, oh, well. Message to Sibby. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, last thing then we're going to do is we're going to head out to... So we've got two of those three, uh, two of those three things already. We're going to head to the Temple of Mara, which I believe is just up here. And we're going to talk to Dinya. Then we're going to see if there's anything else we need to do. So there we go. Temple of Mara. Uh, where be Dinya? You are not Dinya. You are not Dinya. Where are we in here? I'll take the dragon's tongue and things, though. May as well. It fills me with joy to hear you with child, Dinya. Okay. They said it wouldn't, that it couldn't happen. But Mara has shown them their mistake. 
And to think I was wandering the ash wastes only two years ago. I never knew my path would lead to you. You were guided here. You were always meant to be here. That's the way of things. Then I thank Lady Maro with all my heart. For you, for our child, and for our love. Hello! What do you need, my friend? I've given away all the missives. Oh, splendid. Just splendid. Mara smiles upon us this day. Allow me to give you her gift. A true blessing to aid you in times of need. Despair not. Her warmth will protect you always. All right. Some potions of vigorous healing. Nice. Um, is that everything? I think so. Good journey. Lady Mara bids you welcome to her benevolence. How about this guy? Can we talk to him? Welcome back to the temple, messenger. Um, do you accept charity? Of course. I'd be more than happy to add a donation to our charity box. Right now, the best you could provide is coin. We need all the help we can get. Alrighty. I'll donate. Sure. Thank you. I can promise you that this will be put to good use. Alrighty then. May you return to her benevolence and safety. All right, so the last thing we're going to do before we end off the episode, guys, let me just see if I can uh, finish this other quest where we had to get the... Uh, hang on, let's have a look. So let's can... Which was the one we needed to do to find the last... Um, so these ones I'm not too worried about yet. So that's fine. Um, I wanted to speak... Uh, who did I want to get? I needed to get the... Attain a market developer from... Yes, that's what I wanted to do. So you are pretty much right here as well. Let's go and see if we can do that last one. Because um, I wanted to try and complete that quest. Because it sounds like it could be quite fun just to complete that one. It's just a little a funny, a fun little side quest, you know. It's, it's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and make our way down here. So I don't know where we've got to go. Probably outside of Riften? Okay, let's head out of Riften. Let's go ahead and uh, get the mark of Debella. And then we're going to go and confront the lady with it, and we'll see. Alright. So, here we go. Let me guess. Oi! Too lazy to walk, eh? Uh. Oh, you. Ah. Right, hang on a sec. Let's wait a few hours. Damn you! You had to go, you had to go just as I was about to talk to you. They like doing that. Right. Let's wait for four hours. Yeah, I'm just gonna wait outside this door. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just a creep, just like waiting here. Right. Oi. Hello. Oi. Oi. Too lazy to walk, eh? Well, you found the right place. Hmm. <laughs> well, uh, Helga gave you a mark of Devella. I want it. Huh? What are you talking about? I don't even know what that is. Yeah, you do. No one has to know. I don't want a bad reputation in Riften, but Helga's out of control. She wanted to try it in the stable, so I said yes. Oh my lord, no, I don't want to know that much. If you want the mark that badly, then go ahead and take it. Oh lordy lord, okay. Uh, no, I didn't want to know that, right. right. Didn't quite want to know that much detail. Oh dear. Sounds like, sounds like she gets around. Right. <laughs> let's go and, uh, let's go ahead and confront Helga with this. Yeah. Right, here we go. So into the bunkhouse. Right, oh Helga. If you're looking for a bed, this is the wrong place. I believe these are yours. What? How? Where did you get these? No, don't tell me. I don't want to know. Look, we need to keep this quiet between you and me, okay? No one else needs to know about it. If word got out that I'm practicing my Debellin arts in Riften, they'll run me out of town. Here, take this and don't mention a word of this to anyone, especially Svana. All right. So now we have to speak to Svana anyway. What do we get? Um, scroll of uh, Talons of Nern added. So we got a few things. Um, all right, here we go. I don't know why I bother. Right. Hey. Any luck getting the marks from those men? Yeah, I gave them to I gave them to Helga. Oh, I know. Isn't it wonderful? I bet she squirmed like a skeever when you pulled them out of your pocket. I think things are going to be a lot different around here from now on. And I have you to thank for it. Here, I want you to have this. It was my father's, but I'm certain you'll put it to good use. What do we get? Steel flame gauntlets of major sure grip added. Okay, we'll probably, we'll probably just sell those. <laughs> sure, leave. Not like you care anyway. Hey, I just... I just... Uh. Aunt Helga, 
Why demean yourself with these people you barely know? They show no real love for you. It's only a bit of fun. You're a lovely young thing. You should try it sometime. No, I'm saving myself for someone special. Someone who loves me dearly. You mean Sibby? You must be joking. All he wants to do is bed you and be done with it. You may as well get it over with and let him. You're wrong. Sibby and I are in love, and you're just jealous. Well, <laughs> there we go. So guys, I think we're at a pretty good point to go ahead and end off the episode. So that was pretty cool. So we finally managed to get the uh, the leaflets uh, from Mara delivered. Uh, we got we got quite a lot of quests from Riften. So just by going around talking to these people, we've got quite a load of quests to go ahead and see if we can complete. So I think for now, we're at a good point to go ahead and end off the episode. So in the next one, we'll go ahead and see if we can, uh, you know, make our way around to do some of these uh, random quests that we've been given. Uh, you know, I'm just trying to, like, break it up a little bit here and there. So we're not always just going around killing everything. Because, uh, you know, we or, or getting killed, I should say, because, you know, as, as a mage, we are very squishy. But, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's been fun just having a nice little relaxed episode for once. It was, it was quite good. So, yeah. Um, and as I said, a lot of these things around Riften, I've never really, um, I've never really uncovered before. Like, I, know, I never knew half of these backstories in Riften. Because, you know, the, the way I played Skyrim before, I was like, you know, I, I go to Whiterun, I do the main quest lines. I've done a little bit around there, but, you know, focusing on a different city, um, like, especially Riften, I've done the Thieves Guild before, but that's that's pretty much all I've ever done. So it was kind of nice just to explore what else, um, you know, Skyrim had to offer. And it was pretty nice. So, yeah, I think, I think it was a pretty good thing that we uh, hung around. And, yeah. Not bad. So, uh, yeah, I think we're going to gonna end off the episode here, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. So until then, bye!